Okay, so this is the setup that I have. Uh, when I initially got the TBS Crossfire, uh, I plugged the servo on channel one just to test. And I have a 3S uh, LiPo pack, if you can see that, that's uh, uh, fully charged, 12.4. I got my uh, ESC here, servo wire for built-in back. And then I have my Turnig uh, uh, 9X radio with uh, the Crossfire transmitter uh, mounted in the back through that uh, uh, JR uh, module or port there. So uh, what we're going to do is uh, plug the servo wire signal like on top there you go to channel 3. And then uh, I will put power and uh, what you're going to notice is that uh, the motor will keep on beeping, will not arm. So channel 1 where the servo is plugged in on uh, the receiver is uh, ailerons. So there you go, it moves. And this will not, I thought uh, it will be, could be reversed. So, there you go. Nope, no signal at all. So, uh, what, I'm, what I'd like to show you is that at the back, if we could see, you go to RX Diversity output map that is uh, if you can see there it's all uh, that's a stock configuration PWM output 1 channel 1 until output 8 channel 8 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the output uh, I'm gonna move uh, channel I'm gonna switch channel 3 oh sorry output 3 and 4 so what I'm gonna do I don't know if you get focused out there but you can see it I'm gonna go to channel 3, oh, sorry, output 3, channel 3, and switch this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna select 4, go back, and then on output 4, I'm gonna select channel 3. Alright? So basically, when we move the servo to channel 4, or yeah, here on the receiver. If you notice the beeping stop, basically the motor engaged. There you go. So in my opinion, uh, based on this test, channel three is uh, not working. Now, channel two also is uh, on the receiver is not working. I'm gonna move uh, we didn't change uh, output to channel 2 so if I plug it here on channel 2 channel 2 is elevator so I'm using a mode 2 uh, stick set and if you notice it's not responding alright so what I'm gonna do is switch sorry I'm gonna switch uh, through the mapping at the back is go to RX diversity output map so I'm gonna go to output 5 I don't know if you can see that but it is what I'm doing Output 5, I'm going to make it channel 2. Channel 2. And then uh, basically this output 2 
will be channel 5. There you go. So, just to prove that uh, channel 2 on the receiver is now working, I'm going to move this servo uh, to channel 5 here on, uh, on the receiver. So channel 2 is uh, elevator. Hang on. So, uh, that confirms that uh, channel 2 and channel 3 on, P on PWM is not working on this uh, receiver that I got from uh, TBS. I also tried, uh, you know, testing this on a uh, Mini Talon through PWM and uh, both ports uh, don't work. I need to map PPM on channel 1 in order to send a signal to my Pixel. So anyways, that's uh, that's what I've experienced with this uh, TBS Crossfire uh, receiver that I just recently got. So hopefully that's enough to prove that uh, this is not working and uh, hopefully TBS can uh, send me a re replacement uh, as soon as possible.